What's up y'all, it's your boy Shaz Nero. So we're going to be looking at some further examples of 4K ray tracing. So here we'll see 4K ray tracing 30 FPS versus 4K 60 FPS no ray tracing performance mode. Alright, so let's check this out. I'm truly fascinated by ray tracing, man. I gotta be honest with you. I won't be able to play this day one on PS5, but I'm excited. So right now we're gonna be looking at ray tracing mode right here. Although I'll be playing on PS4 day one because I still have a PS5 secured yet. No but look at anybody. that. See the reflections you see? Broke a bunch of stuff. Maybe they were looking for something. It is fascinating. It's crazy how it works, you know. I, I love it. The visual the visual appeal it, it's it's next level for me. It just makes everything more vibrant. Super pleasant, man. All right, so right now, performance mode, no ray tracing, 60 FPS. No sign of anybody. They broke a bunch Still of looks stuff. great, you know. It's 4K, for 60 FPS. Looks great, regardless. You can you can see the smoothness of the camera movement, so that's that's there. Listen, Insomniac, uh, Insomniac game did a wonderful job. Whatever mode you play on, the game's gonna look fantastic. Look at the texture on the floor. It, it, it's great regardless, but... So this is ray tracing. Right here, look, I don't, I don't know. It's just visually something about the reflections that you get to see and experience. When, when you're in-game... Oh, look, look at the window, right? Maybe in-game you may not even notice it that significantly, especially when you're playing on a big screen. I think when you play on a, on a decent sized monitor, yeah, there will be differences, but I think if you're playing on a, like, you know, a bigger than a 55 inch screen, right, and you're playing in ray tracing, that's when you will notice the level of visual fidelity that you will not be able to get from 60 FPS. But again, would you want performance or great visuals? It really depends on the play style you want to go for and do you think there's more advantage of it being 50 FPS? I also got some extra footage from Twitter. It's not it's not great quality, but uh, I just wanna I wanna show like further examples of it. So right here we got ray tracing on 30 FPS. Okay. So this is okay. So you can you can you can legit see the difference instantaneously like you can see this is ray tracing off but this is 60 fps all right versus ray tracing on L look at look at the difference it's more flat right the 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 floor is more flat uh visually still looks great of course but you see it just looks the floor looks flat so here we go you can see this that's it right there you can't see nothing that's that's crazy to me that is absolutely insane to me. You see, like that's that's a significant difference, especially nighttime snow. You know the Christmas vibe. Like I I want that uh I want that ray tracing right here. It has you see that's basically a next gen look. Still great, but a little flat compared to what we can get. You see, that's some that's the, sh the shine to it. I love the shine to it. Might be my need to some, but if I know I can get a 4K, if for example, if I can get 1080p on, on a Blu ray movie, looks great, right? A 4K movie might be slightly better, but it's still better. And when you get used to that that increase of image quality right from a blu-ray to a 4k blu-ray you can't go back and i think that's what ray trace is going to do to to many people eventually we're just getting started man that's people gotta keep in mind we are just getting started we're not gonna see that peak uh, of its greatness until you know maybe like 
like in two years that's when we, we'll see how far they can actually take this you know next year games are gonna look great but I think in 2022 that's when things are gonna be on a whole nother level that it's gonna be insane it's always it's always been that way until Uncharted 4 came out right PS4 was great but when Uncharted 4 came out you're like yo this is why you gotta get a PS4 and that's legit what happened to me with PS4 I bought an Uncharted edition because I was in love with that game it's my favorite game of all time so there's that <laughs> man I'm super fascinated with ray tracing man I think I'll be just swinging around the city seeing the reflection that during night times even day times on, on the ground you know there's so many detail that that can be captured with ray tracing that I'm super fascinated by and excited to just experience it but this is an experience that I, I gotta wait till I actually get my hands on a ps5 because I'll be playing uh, Miles Morales on PS4 day one because you know I, like I don't know when I'll be getting my PS5 and I'm gonna try to get it on day one on launch day try to order one but you know I could be out of luck I can't even gauge on that so I'll be getting a uh, Miles on day one on PS4 and I'll be doing some gameplays so I cannot wait for that and share my experience with you guys I'm super stoked man can't wait I know y'all excited it's just a great potential to just keep going because I will be doing my best to platinum Miles Morales. I'm on the verge of platinuming uh, Spider-Man PS4. I've never platinum a game, and I'll be actually sharing a couple of my gameplays uh, on my process, on my quest to greatness, my quest to platinuming uh, a Spider-Man PS4. So I'll be sharing some of those gameplay real soon. But yeah, like so maybe I'll get to finish the story, you know, finish the game on PS4. But when I'm gonna be uh, going for the platinum on Miles Morales. Hopefully, I'll get my PS5 by then so I can experience the, the game in that scale and that visuals with 4K ray tracing. I'm good, man. That I'm good. I'm good to go. So, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And as for always, thank you all so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this, hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, definitely subscribe. Hit the notification bell and see you guys on my next one. Salute.